Welcome to my new vlog from Moscow guys and as you can see just full of snow during the last two days the snowfall was just huge and now it's impossible to drive your car to walk outside but anyways I decided to take you with me and to show you the Moscow Worth noting that this snowfall was the second biggest snowfall in the last 142 years so you can imagine how heavy it was and getting around the city was quite difficult as well as walking with the dog but look at these cute cars that clean up the snow there was a snowfall for three days and finally it stopped and actually i would just go to the sun it's pretty much sunny no clouds super nice and the only disadvantage it's minus 17 degrees celsius now but it's not a problem at least it's sunny and still i i felt like i'm missing talking to you just and walking around so that's what i decided to do on my uh, day off from work and i noticed that i showed you a lot of churches here in moscow but i have to show you one place actually it's a mosque and a really gorgeous mosque that located on prospect mira district I decided to change it and here we are. <laughs> this is what a place for praying looks like for women. To be honest, I was expected to see something like I saw in the mosque in Kazan. When I was about to leave disappointed, the guards said that I should go to the place for prayers for men where I would see all the beauty of this mosque. That's exactly what I expected. It was very beautiful. There are not much things to do in this district, but I found some beautiful buildings and I would like to show them. I honestly don't know what is it. And also speaking about this mosque, as it's located exactly in the city center in Prospect Mira, there were a lot of different thoughts about creating this when it were firstly was built around i think it was around seven years ago more or less something like that and a lot of locals didn't like it in the beginning because uh, we have different religion and it's a mosque exactly in the city center and really big one uh, but personally i think it's beautiful and i like that it makes more international like <laughs> my city By the way, this unusual glass building actually is a theater. By the way, I also would like to show you some news from my life. And actually, I was on the TV, <laughs> on the famous Russian TV program. Not exactly me, but my bag, but still it's something. <laughs> they recorded our office to this program because of the half of it. Like the half of the people from our office were working from home because of the pandemic and when they came back to the office they decided to make this video and yeah actually it was funny. Despite of the fact that many streets in the city center are cleared of snow, there are still a lot of streets where walking it's quite difficult because of the snow. When it's so cold outside, locals like to go to the closed food markets such as this one which is located on Southern Boulevard. In these markets you can find food from all around the world and the design there is really nice. Also guys, I'm making now a new video about life in Russia and could you please write down your questions that you're interested in about anything that connects you to this topic and I will reply to them in the next <laughs> video and also if you have some new ideas what you want to see in Moscow like just write me down this and I will try to record this because sometimes I I don't know like I have so many ideas of making videos but I just want to I really want to make something that you are interested in so I'll be waiting for your questions.
by the way as you know i don't speak about politics on my channel but i got few questions from you guys and you asked me have i participated in the protest that been recently in moscow and here yeah, i really would like to say something I have, it's the first time in my life when I really wanted to participate in the process. Really first time in my life. I haven't gone there because my parents really asked me uh, not going there. Like we had a fight in my family because it's not like in Europe, for example. I, I visited the process <laughs> accidentally when I've been in Madrid uh, and it was really welcome by like the policemen haven't been violent. But in Russia, everything is different. Uh, the police is really violent. They beat women, they beat uh, men, they beat even uh, elderly people, and then they're going to jail. And the people just in, like in the city center in Moscow, but the conditions, they just horrible. If I will find something, I would actually have pictures that I've seen in the internet. And also, like, I can't say I like Navalny, but. <laughs> Oh my god, the power should should change sometimes, <laughs> like 20 years, it's too much. So I think you noticed my <laughs> what I think about politics in Russia. And it like what they done to Navalny, it was just super unconstitutional. I'm really sad for his family, for his friends. And I don't know, he's in jail now for almost three years. Super unconstitutional, really, I have no more to describe what I think about this. I'm really sorry for him. I can't describe in words how proud I am for people who weren't afraid and came out of protest. I believe that all together we will achieve peace in our country. On my way back to home at the Pushkinskaya metro station, I saw that you can scan the code and download one of the books of the famous poet to your phone, what I think is a super amazing idea. To be honest guys, I wanted to make more videos to walk more around the city center, but because of this weather, it's super cold and when it's super cold, the phone just dies super quickly and I don't have a charge, so I had to <laughs> return back to my home. I hope you enjoyed this video and again I really want to say how thankful I am to have you. I really want to make more videos to show you everything and thanks for liking the video, thanks for sharing to the friends. It means really a lot. Thank you guys and wish you a great day.